I, I'm I'm well, thank you. How are you? Good, thanks. That's good. Um, thank you for taking the time to do this. Um, so we caught up recently, um, and you were telling me um, a bit about some of the cool stuff that you have been up to. So I just wanted to um, get your spin on that and um, let other people know about what you've been doing so they could um, potentially be inspired and maybe do something similar. Um, but I also just have a few questions around getting to know you um, so everybody else can get to know you as well. Sounds good. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, why don't we start off with an easy one? Um, do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself, um, where you go to school and what you like to get up to after school, what you do for fun? That kind of stuff? Cool. Um, so I'm year 13 at Mount Aspiring College in Wanaka. Um, I live in Omaru, but I'm at Mac Hostel this year for their Outdoor Pursuits program. Um, so yeah, I love anything outdoors, skiing, tramping, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm off a farm, so that's kind of, yep. Um, and yeah, I love my sports. I play football. Um, I've played hockey for the last four years, but I'm not playing this year. Um, quite, I love my badminton, yeah, snow sports, water sports, yeah, everything. Yep. Awesome. Well, you're in the right location for uh, for the snow sports, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice one. Um, and how long have you been involved with SAD for? So this is my first year, like, fully involved. I did a little bit at my old school, but... Yeah, this is my first year probably doing as much as I'm doing this year, but so far, yeah, I'm loving it. Awesome. That's good to hear. <laughs> um, and now when we caught up for a um, Term 2 workshop at Mount Aspiring, you mentioned to me um, some a couple of really cool initiatives that you've been involved in. Um, can you tell me a little bit about those? Yeah, so for this year, I'm taking business and enterprise as a subject, and basically we had to come up with a product that we wanted to put on the market, but we had to find a problem in our community and then basically create a product as a solution to that problem. And so my group has come up with the problem of the lack of knowledge around like young drivers especially, um, like around things to do with cars, like changing a tire, putting chains on, checking oil, like jump starting a car, all the basic stuff that should be known but isn't always known. Um, so yeah, basically that kind of inspired us to create our product. Um, our business name is Drive Protect. So basically, we've created a wee booklet inside of a kit, and our booklet includes like all that basic stuff that we think should be known, as well as like just basic education stuff on the effects of drink and drug driving and stuff that should be known around that. And then, yeah, we have a wee tire tread checker, an ice scraper and like a window breaker and a seatbelt cutter in our kit. And so, yeah, we'll be selling that and hopefully that'll do well. That's so cool. Um, yeah. And you're so right, you know, like just when people get their licence, um, there is so many key skills that there are still left to, to learn. So I, I think that's a, a brilliant initiative. And I think, you know, again, particularly where you are with the ice scraper and stuff like that, really relevant. But, you know, we get frost all over the country. So um, I hope that goes really yeah. well for you. Yeah, um, I've also been involved. Oh, this year I'm involved with the Wanaka Alcohol Group as the SAD student representative. Um, yeah, it's been an awesome opportunity so far. And it's really made me step up to a more professional level with being involved with like that sort of group as it's like adults from all different agencies around the area. So basically the agencies involved are Kahu Youth, which are youth advocates, um, obviously the police, um, Queenstown District Lake Council, there's uh, um, someone representing that, Public Health South, uh, Fano Resilience and ADL and then Mac uh, the voice for the parents and the youth and so yeah there's our principal who she's representing them and yeah basically the group is their purpose is to support the community like the parents and whānau and caregivers of the youth around basically education of like and reducing harm of drinking and other harmful substances and yeah, 
just helping our teens in our community. That's really cool. How did you find out about the group? Um, so it was Miss Scott came to me as or came to the whole said group and said we'd like a representative to join the group and yeah, they were looking for someone as a youth voice directly, obviously directly involved. And yeah, I put my hand up and yeah. Brilliant. I think that's a really cool example um, of how people who are involved with SAD or not even necessarily with SAD can get involved in the wider community as well. Um, I think there's a lot of people out there that think that um, something like SAD just stops at the school gates and that's all they can do. But um, yeah, brilliant example of um, getting involved in, in something bigger. Have you enjoyed that yeah. um, experience so far? Yeah, no, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. It's a good step up from yeah. like more chill school groups to go into, as I said, something a lot more professional. I would say, yeah, the experience that you get there from working with those people would be um would be really cool. Um, and I imagine a pretty good CV builder as well for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's been real handy with like enterprise. It's given me lots of contacts that are that are real keen to be on board and help with that. And then also just the SAD group, like it's given me a contact inside the police and we've just managed to um get up get set up the booze bus with the police to do a checkpoint with the SAD group. So that's really exciting. I think everyone's looking forward to that. So that'll be a cool experience as well. Yeah, very cool. We um I've been a part of one of those um in Christchurch and um I think the students who um participated in that just really enjoyed the experience you know whether it was mm. whether they were interested in potentially working for police later on in career or um, they just wanted a different experience or again having that wider impact on um, on the bigger community was really rewarding for, for them so um, do you, you do you know what kind of role you might be playing when that happens or you've got that far ahead yet? Um, I think we're just going to be kind of supporting police like I think as people pass if they pass the breath test then just hand out a chocolate and be like good job thanks for being a responsible driver um and yeah obviously if they don't pass then the police take it from there no yeah. chocolate for you yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, I mean I think that that again something about sad and and our groups um being part of that and working in that prevention space, working in that positive space is so cool. Like how often yeah. do you how often do you drive around and actually get a physical reward for just being yeah. and doing <laughs> what you should be doing, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I would love that if I got stopped and I got a chocolate fish at the end. Great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so just have a couple more questions for you, just to kind of um more get getting to know you. Um, oh, just on what you were talking about before, um, with either enterprise or um the alcohol group, um, have you got any kind of goals that you're wanting to achieve? Whether I mean, obviously the enterprise is is pretty straight, you know, um, self explanatory. Mm -hmm. But have you got kind of any goals that you're wanting to achieve with either of those? Um, so yeah, basically enterprise from like a business financial perspective, we'd obviously like to sell enough of our product to break even and make some profit. Um, but like the real reason why we started the business and what made us want to do it is just like the education side of it, just teaching young drivers to be responsible, helping them be safe on the road and just like making them feel confident. So if they ever get into like that sort of situation and they're out by themselves, for exact for example, they know how to change a tire and they'll be able to do it safely and yeah, just that confidence of knowing they'd be able to do it. Totally. No, yeah. that's that's really cool. And it's great that there's people like yourself in our communities that actually um want to, you know, actually care about their peers and actually want them to, to do well because it's kind of it, it benefits us all to really, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the alcohol group I think because I'm still quite new to it, I think it's kind of just more of a learning experience. Um, yeah. And but yeah, I think as a whole group that are just wanting we've just finished just strategic planning and that 
is basically just like what they're wanting to do as the group and it's just like educating families they're looking at running a few events like information evenings having guest speakers come and talk about just education around drugs and alcohol and that sort of thing and also just trying to open up the contact between like the school and the police and not always having it as like if something goes wrong, like normally if you get a school a call from the school, then your child's been naughty or something. Just having them like more out there in the community is a more positive kind of thing. Nice. Yeah, I love that theme of, um, you know, when you get notified of something like that, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, we tend to react only when something bad has happened. But yeah, again, being part of that prevention space, I think, is, is a really cool mm. spot to be in. Yeah, nice one. Um, in terms of road safety, what does what does road safety mean to you? Um, just like having everyone safe on the road, just everyone following road rules and just having all road users safe, so like including everyone on the road. So like not just cars, like it's the pedestrians, the cyclists, like everyone just, yeah, basically educating people not to just think about themselves. Like if something was to happen, it may just harm you or there could be like the effect of someone else, like if it was a crash. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're so right. It's not just motorists on the road, but, you know, pedestrians, cyclists, scooters, all that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we've all got to share it and use it responsibly. Yeah. Right? yeah. Nice one. Um, so you, you've highlighted some things that you're in, involved in, obviously sad being one of them but then um you've highlighted some other really cool things as well if someone was new to this kind of space and was maybe thinking about getting involved with sad or um, with road safety um as someone who's kind of been around those things for a wee while what kind of advice would you give them starting out um i just say like if they're thinking about joining sad or like some other group just do it like it had been an awesome experience i've already learned so much um there's always going to be support there for you like with sad there's teacher in charge and then there's you guys the team at sad are always willing to help out and yeah just give it a go yeah Love that. it's a good attitude give it a go what's the worst that could, could go wrong right yeah exactly <laughs> Um, all right, let's chat school. Favourite subject, least favourite subject? Um, my favourite subject would probably have to be, oh, it's pretty tight between biology or ag. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, just being on off a farm, the agriculture background, quite interesting. Um, in biology, it's just so interesting how everything works. And, yeah, like sometimes it's hard, but it's interesting and it's rewarding when you understand it. And yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah. And least? Um, probably English or physics. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't expect <laughs> you to say physics because it sounds like you've got quite a science brain. <laughs> I just have one more question for you. Um, and it's a bit of a, a lofty question, but, um, or it might be easy for you to answer. I don't know. But what do you uh what do you care most about in the entire world? Oh that's a tricky one. I mean you could go big with it or you could be like, I don't know, Maccas. Depends on. <laughs> <laughs> Depends um, on what you prioritize. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like just giving everything a go. I don't know if that if that's kind of along the lines of what you're talking about. Just yeah, giving everything you go, like you only live life once. Um, do what you want to do. Yeah, just make the most of everything. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a that's a much um more deep answer than um double G. <laughs> so, props <Yeah>. to you. <laughs> that's that's incredible hey thank you so much for um taking the time to um to hang out with me and to answer some questions um all right I'm